to stream. I actually wasn't planning to stream today, but I got some free time. Um, got done with some stuff a bit earlier than expected. Uh, but uh, we are. Let me just change some names real quick. I need to fix a few things since I'm streaming directly from the PS4. And how's everybody doing tonight? Start and then we get to go. Uh, while I'm waiting for that, let me drink my tonic so I can get my beard oh, growing majestic as all. Here we go. What is that? Thunderstorm? I hear. Morning there, Arthur. Hey, hey, what's going on? All right, let's go. I have customized my outfit, red and black. Oh, is that a thunderstorm? It sounds like a thunderstorm. journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move those oily enactors of a mediocre justice the pinkertons and their benefactor the depressing millionaire leviticus cornwall they want us Arthur. they want us and they are going to have us well, maybe they ain't the problem meaning i don't know it's just well i can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else <laughs> but the the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in surviving than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What's our move here? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your bag to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. Spooky Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. It's done. What are we doing now? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? 
we'll see. <laughs> I know the way. Follow me. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in Saint Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Ah, uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't in addition to yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. Where did you end up again? Cuba? Well, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not. But he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh, I guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. There's the bridge. not much further now. So, I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rainsfall and Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Well, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near. Even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. <sighs> well, we'll cover about it being for a fight. You see that up ahead? Slow down. Keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me. Stay quiet. Let's get closer to them. Come on. I'm 
this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one. Take the other. Oh, why don't you carry the body for a bit, huh? Why do I Quick, Arthur. Good job. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Stagecoach one missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. And hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Okay. Get in a bit closer and then throw it into the cave. Hey, what's going on, Chris? Welcome back, buddy. How's your stand-up? Hopefully she ain't crazy. Let's go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take 
Take her there, and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. Hey, they, 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 um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. Yeah. <laughs> It's all right, miss. Why would they... Some folks just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. Yeah, that is true. Days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Ugh, man, the Murphy brood sounds like real animals, man. Easy, girl. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. is yours up at the top of the hill it's near the blacksmith Mama. Ma! Ma! Meredith? Yes. she's alive oh she's alive you saw some pretty bad things i'm afraid man murphy brew guys oh my God. how did you manage uh, to... i just ran into them and found her oh thank you here let me give you this okay thank you that's mighty kind of you. This is down? Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. This is down? Hmm. Oh, yeah, she's part of the, the group. Remember now. find anything maybe I think maybe I found our old friend mr. Cornwall you did yeah he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg relentlessly ambitious fella isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about see if he knows we're here and exactly what his plans are so Dutch. did you miss me I found her drunk in Saint Denis you're back how jolly miss it's O'Shea funny, you stuck a shit back Who and you? drunk the master the Lord Molly. God all my calm down I won't Ignored George Vanderlyn. I am him. I ain't her. 
Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. You know, I told them, and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Come on, She's shoot me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me. Oh, you're you not betrayed so big now, me. What? Please calm down, Arthur. <laughs> He's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You're not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Get back to work. Yeah. Hmm, damn. Yeah, that... Whew, man. Yeah, she is the real G for sure. Can't get no food. There we go. Damn, she was not playing around. Ouch. Oof. So you think you think Dutch has lost his mind, Arthur? I'm not sure I even care. Well, Micah... Micah says you've been saying crazy things about her. Micah... <laughs> Keep an eye out for Micah, Bill. He says a whole lot. He does. All right, let's go rescue that John. Yep.
Did they kill Rick in The Walking Dead? Holy smokes. Um, don't know if they did it. Yeah, this was supposed. Yeah, it's supposed to be his last season, and technically, this was supposed to be his last episode. But uh, I don't want to say anything um, spoilery or anything like that, um, so I won't. <laughs> well, I'm just reading a review right now, and they're saying uh, it was a really good episode. I gave it like an eight out of eight on the IGN. Oof, I'm trying to read all this right now. I'm making my. Yeah, that Carl thing was, uh, yeah, them killing Carl, I did not like that, because, uh, yeah, I just didn't I like that. Insist. insist all you like ain't happening. Arthur Teller. Teller what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming, that's the end of the matter. See, there, you heard him. Now let's go. <laughs> but, but nothing, it'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Yeah. Well, well, I ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> oh, Abigail. All right. Here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston?
Ooh. Wow, I could use the um the hatchet as a stealth kill. I did not know that. Well, Negan is still alive in the comics, so um, that I did I did expect Negan to survive. Uh, that I'm not surprised about. Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, yeah. Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go uh, and get him together. Uh, uh, Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> You apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her. Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, very nice fella. Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss. Okay, Sadie Adler is really liking her. They're, they're not gonna let you do this. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Right now. So, are you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this. Why did it keep? Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. That is true. Ah, <laughs> Sadie. I love you. Jameson in! 
He's in San Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, <coughs> two, three. Uh, uh, Milliken, is it? <laughs> yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, or very funny. No, we must be at eleven by now. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Faster. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Now hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards! Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Oh, you too? Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, I had to shoot him. You know, you know it was coming. <laughs> this is my bad, Arthur. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I know I'm running.
because I'm running. Always seem to need rescue, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You. You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them. It's can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Turn that part around, or we will cut you down. Can't do that, fellas. I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. <laughs> And did we... What about... The... The money? Oh, somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and... We ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait. You're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Grids, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ran at us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. <laughs> and... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Uh, <laughs> guess not. <laughs> this is actually some kind of revelation between them now. See you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty. Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn 
plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. Cares? They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Arthur! Arthur! Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. All right, guys, I'm gonna go to end it here. Yeah, this is going to be a short stream anyway because I work tomorrow, but at least wanted to kind of get to chapter 6 and get some stuff moving. So. Hi, oh, little John. <laughs> Alright, guys. I catch you guys. Wait, what is going on here? Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems. To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I have you as a friend. Cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna head out of here. Look at that majestic beard. Oh, I should take a photo. I keep forgetting to take photos of my new uh, beard. Yeah, let's take a self portrait of me looking awesome in this beard before I go. It's time to take a selfie. Oh, yeah. And yeah, let's see what poses we can get into. Oh, that is a majestic pose right there. Expression. I can't see anything with that damn beard on my face. Oh, well. Ooh, there we go. Alright, good. Alright, guys. I will catch you guys later. Bye.